this has been Humongonet Director's Cut. Okay, so... Alright, so we didn't even really know what we were going to do for this. So we decided for some good uh, background royalty free music that we probably want to get copyrighted, we decided to do uh, Yingy and Dixie, which is one of our favorite songs. We ain't going to use none of that secesh stuff. We only use that pro northern good stuff. Okay. So anyways, we figured we got to do the bass boost shit because I mean, yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, the two people filming are going to be Teletubby and the Russian man. And Shaggy, or no, Shaggy, sorry, sorry, Shaggy, Shaggy's played by himself. Indy and John and R- Ruski Man, number one. Okay. Along with Teletubby and Narrator. Yes. Anyway, so what? Uh, Oh yeah. This was filmed in my yard apparently. So uh, this scene is good. I like how you can hear like the camera moving. That definitely increases the quality, I must yep. admit. Okay, so what we tried doing here is uh, a well, cinematic masterpiece. You see, you can pop. Al- although you cannot uh, see it in the screen, uh, the the man, uh, the humongous is a uh, holding a, a crystal. Exactly. You can't really see it, unfortunately. You can't, that was exactly. one of the that was one of the best props. I think if you like pause it at one time, you can see it. Yeah. That and one. so this sound is actually on Noah, uh, one of my friend's computers that our other friend made five years ago when he was trying to make a royalty-free gangster rap. So then we put that sound over okay, the okay, okay, You so can actually see the narrator down there, which you probably noticed. Okay, so the so you can see we uh, took a piece of cardboard, we cut it out, and we uh, drew some stuff with it. Yeah, drew some stuff with it. <laughs> Oh, heck. oh yeah, so during this scene, um, an actor playing Humongonet accidentally fell down and got tons of redwood duff in his hair. It actually took him several hours to remove all of it completely. I think some of it still might be there to this day. Probably. If you ever want to come to my house and get some holy relics. I don't know what's left for Anyway, so in this next scene, it, uh, they cut it off early, but it's supposed to say a thousand years later. It works. Oh yeah, so in this scene what happens is we get the confu- they get the location a little bit confused here. For it is rabbit season in the high Pacific area of California. Cairo. Cairo. <laughs> so this is one of our favorite cinematic masterpiece uh, camera Yeah, cameras. when they uh, walk over the bridge. Yep. And uh, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, so uh, what we may have had to do, there was too much background noise, so what we had to do is we have to absolutely blast the Inspector Gadget theme song at like max volume to cover up those songs. This is pretty epic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can even hear what's going on just because of how loud it is. What is this song? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you edited this. No, we did edit it. Then what is this? This is like, we just looked at like ambient mu- noises All right, from like iMovie and we put it in. Now, for this scene, he actually didn't say it loud enough, so we had to cover over it. So he says, yeah. what's this? What's this? What's this? Finally. Epic transition. Yep. He figures to take his backpack off, which is pretty that epic. <laughs> but uh, yeah. if you expect to check oh, yeah. the expanded lore, um, so if yeah, so yeah, yeah the, the, uh, the taller, the uh, taller uh, hunter actually gently puts down his gun, which I'm very appreciative because yeah. he was very gentle. And, uh, oh, you can see the drag, you can see the oh, yeah. cameraman's shoe, which is pretty epic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he forgets. Oh, he that forgets that returning. This I love this scene right here. Cinematic masterpiece. Look at that. The dust. Perfect. Dang, my friend just got in the I love it. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> and uh, so basically, I don't know why we decided to add the Teletubby, but I guess we... So anyways, yeah, so the Teletubby we decided in there because, yeah, because why not have the Teletubby in there, dude? Yeah. So, what, what should we say for the same? Do I say it? Okay, so, so the struggle was real there. This is, as you can see, this it's taking it's a metaphor for uh, how the Teletubby. Oh yeah, <laughs> he almost <laughs> died. No, that was all planned. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> if you want to see that artifact, we actually have it at my house. So that's actually yeah. Facebook. Uh, he's on Facebook. Yeah, wait, wait. So you actually had notes for this? So I had notes, but I forgot them, and so I checked my pocket, and they weren't there, so I just had to improvise and just roll on. And then I, they had all my lines were on the notebook, so I had no clue on what to say. So I just started talking about like some sort of like ancient cursed warlock. You can see his mom in the kitchen right there, real quick. Yeah. All right. 
before the Russians caught oh, oh yeah, so as you can see, my pistol holder... Candy cigarettes. Candy cigarette, bubblegum cigarette. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. So also, my collar is untucked. My my pistol holster is in my pocket for some reason. <laughs> I don't even know why. Oh yeah, he oh, takes yeah. his phone out, puts takes it the back phone in. Takes the phone out, puts it back in. <laughs> there you go, then he gets the call. That's I messed up the line. It's Tavarich instead of Tavarish. But I mean, I don't think for, anyone... Uh, I don't think anyone knows. The Russian kid watching. The one Russian kid watching. I probably said why, the why, were, why did the phone make you jump back? Because uh, because it was a metaphor for how the commissar was spinning at me. Right. I, I just love how uh, the Russian says okay, like the okay. henchman. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's a metaphor for uh, the authoritarian rule of communism. Indian Johns is about to get an Uber to go to a. <laughs> Or so in this scene, he was actually there was actually someone and, uh, telling me when I should walk into the car, holding out their hand. So they kept on giving me all these mixed signals. I'm all, do, do I go in? Do, do I stand? Oh yeah, and every single one of my characters, I forget to take off my watch. Oh yeah, it's 1935. He has a Chromebook. Yeah, it's 1935. And I'm checking Facebook. Don't worry about it. It's okay. The audio peaks there, which I love. This this is a funny Easter egg for a lazy town right here. Exactly. How much do I owe you? Nothing. I hope you don't get free. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Frick. Sorry. Uh oh. Change of plans. Change of plans. We all pointed guns at him. Exactly. There was six people in this car. No, there was wait seven. No, there was six people in this car. There was a Russian hen. The six six Russian henchmen. Right, me. The cameraman. Oh, also, yeah, we love. This is one of my favorite scenes right here. In the car. Oh. <laughs> And also the actor who played a Humongina also doubled as that. So this is the interrogation scene. I love this scene. Yeah, so we had a, our friend literally in okay. the bathtub holding so, a flashlight above. On his, okay, so the actor who played Humongina, you might be wondering where the light is coming from. So the actor who played Humongina is literally on his, on his tippy toes in the back there holding it with the flashlight in the tip of his fingers. Oh yeah, also uh, you can uh, see the cameraman in the mirror yeah, if you look, right, right there. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> you can see the camera now, which is pretty Anyway, funny. so yeah, we, we, we did do a blooper, and uh, on this original shoot, I did accept the, 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 the interrogated Indiana Johns did take the uh, cigarette, but it fell out of his mouth. So we decided that uh, I should say no. Yep. And also, in the earlier in the scene, when the camera goes down, that's because when I tried to put the cigarette box in my pocket, it fell down and the cameraman had to pick it up mid-scene. But it's, uh, don't worry, it's an epic cinematic masterpiece, though. Don't worry about that one. Bit. We forget to put the toilet paper away. <laughs> oh no. So please. <laughs> yeah, if you look up closely in the top right hand corner in a little you can bit, see you can actually hair see also. his hair. Wait, can you see his hair? I thought you can only see his like his hands. Oh no. Oh yeah, I, I put my face my face in the wrong way. No, it's for it's no, it's, it's a masterpiece. And I'm I'm totally not just breaking down laughing, don't worry about it. Human <laughs> Alright, alright. <laughs> Fun. Cairo. Okay, so this is definitely the desert. Yeah, this is definitely the deserts of Cairo. Yeah, definitely. Oh, also, um, so you might be thinking the camera is a little shaky. That's all on purpose, I swear. It's not like, it's not like sometimes when I watch this, it literally gets me car sick. No, no, don't, it's, it's, it's good, it's good. And again, the reason that we just blasted this music totally wasn't to cover up like any background noise or anything like that. Definitely not. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the um, the camera shaking is a metaphor for the anxiety of Indian John. Yep. <laughs> uh, so you can see uh, you can see the different Russians. Some of them are wearing ushankas with t-shirts and like flip flops and stuff. That's because they're in their tropical uniform. Yep, we actually looked back in the 1935 historical uh, uniform, was that, or something. We checked History Channel and they said they were abducted by like aliens and stuff, so we had to fact check something. Oh, this scene is fun. So in this scene what we had to do is we actually had to do two costume changes. The main Russian had to come in and also the Teletubby had to come in. Oh yeah, also in one of these scenes you can see my sister. You totally couldn't see the finger there. Definitely couldn't see Teletubby either. Yep. Also, yeah, the Russian was always there. Yeah. <laughs> this is an epic So, my scream wasn't loud enough, so we had to record it at like 9.30. <laughs> oh, um... 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If you listen closely, you can hear me say Jesus Christ. Oh God. There it is. <laughs> totally safe. <laughs> it's graphic, isn't it? Yeah. It's so graphic, you don't even need blood effects to be horrified. Yeah, Jones, we may or may not have forgot to uh, add gun sound effects. But that's what he's actually the long list, uh, if you check the comic book lore, he's actually a long descendant of Shaggy. And that's the dead Russian right there. Yeah. But what if? What if? Okay, so we did. So this is the safe version. Uh, um, uh, 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 the less violent version. Less violent version. Wait, more no, there's more violent, violent, actually. Yeah, more violent. Exactly, exactly. Oh, heck. Oh, look at that. Roll, though. I have learned from my hubris. I tried to do the gun spin, but it failed. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no, it's great. No, it's great, because it's like so light, and I couldn't even do anything with it. The start side oh. is graphic right there. Oh, heck, that was graphic. Oh, violent, dude. If you listen closely, I can actually I actually said Noah get the gun. The weapons of yours. Oh, graphic! Look at that. That was intense. All right. <laughs> he really. <laughs> yeah, it makes it better. Right after I catch my breath. If you look in the car, you can actually see someone walking around. Yeah. Yeah. That's my uh, sister there. Angry net noises. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so that was basically it. Yep. There were some other things that we might make another video for, but I mean, I don't think y'all want to sit through like the f one third of this movie, which is just the credits. Yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, please consider subscribing. Stay fresh, my kachigas. Yep, kachiba, uh, my ginger. Friend. Oh,